You know a Freddy Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddy. Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my bucks? sap. Do they think I'm made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today. You can be free to you. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. Get this. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to stop. Look out! Get this. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire. Are you crazy? Get this. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy. Christ! Get this. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set. I hope you got some money saved up. There's a little sneak. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Brass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. And be careful. He likes guns. Now, do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this Cruz character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. Story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for a God damn maniac! Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. What the hell? Most informing. Thank you. Out of the car, police. I need the gun in my glove compartment to shoot you. Phelps. Right. 
What are you doing? starting to annoy me. Watch out for the pedestrians! you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. He opened fire and, well, the rest of the story tells itself. A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. These are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. Detectives, you'll want to come meet Mr. Fickman, the neighbor. Sounds I like he's got something for something, you. Detective. Detectives Phelps and Durrell, who were told to you. Always knew they were up to no good. Son of a bitch spent more time in the chicken coop than in his house. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's very helpful. And next time you witness suspect behavior through the crack in your curtains, please call us before something like this happens. Jesus, Cole, what's wrong with a good old-fashioned black and white? We're not in my car. 
Look where you're going! Here's what I heard. That cop caught the guy who did the Dahlia. But then they covered it all up. LAPD, police emergency. So I the city all these goddamn taxes. And you need to take my car... What are you doing? Son of a bitch! What is America gonna understand? PD, I need your car Wait, now. Officer, my bag's in there. What's wrong with you? Now we're getting somewhere. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. Hungry or something, Phelps? I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do.
Not a care in the world. Careful. No harm done. Thank God we're not in this car. Open your eyes! Do you ever shut up? We missed something at the cruise place. Let's go back. I hope things work out. I need the job, but they tell me nothing. Look where you're going! You idiot! Full of advice, aren't you? right at them. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front.
Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. I think I've seen it all. Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Christ! Tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. Do you have identification? Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address.
understand you, but thousands wouldn't. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run this shop. That's all I do. Juan brings it in, Parnells does the canning, and you sell it. Is that how it works? Something like that. I do what I'm told. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. Erto, you can skate on this. We're not interested in a flunky running a farmer's market. We want the people running the operation. You seem OK, but you can never trust a gringo who wants something. You're going to jail, Erto. Our jails may be nicer than what you could expect in Mexico, but I can tie you up in red tape for years. Christ alive, this is a nightmare! Son of a bitch! You got some money saved up. You're not helping. Try not to kill anyone. Are you crazy? Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been overseasoning the soup. And LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Uh, Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. You just wanted to follow her, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris, they're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. What is going on? LAPD, sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please.
any name on that list that rings a bell? This is familiar, 1452 North Los Palmas, a Jorge Garcia Cruz. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. You must suspect someone, Mr. Parnell. Are you sure it isn't someone who stole some of my labels? That would be pretty easy to do. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. The dope leads here, Parnell. Your new prosperity won't mean much when the papers hear that this place is a cover-up for a dope operation. Son, that is a scandalous allegation. We fed the army during the war on products canned here, and we were proud to do so. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I I'm not familiar with them all. You're not the type of boss who talks to his workers? I am, but a lot of them don't have much English. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. You're being made a patsy by a dope ring, Parnell, and you're happy to sit here and let it happen. You want my help? I said I'd help. You want to call me names? You can go fuck yourself. I tried to help, but every word I say gets twisted. I'm going to talk to my lawyer, kid. You can work this one out on your own. Show us to the factory floor. Now, hold on a second. You expect to storm in here, throw around a bunch of accusations, and then get a guided tour. Bingo. Let's go, fat boy. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. Why don't you keep quiet? I've learned something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? 
soup is ladled automatically in the can. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book, just there on the desk. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? So what next? Talk to the dispatcher. Can I have a look Even at that coin? Is the fall guy, sure, why it's not? These guys who handle the goods. Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. It brings me luck. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to Immigration Services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. From here it gets sent all over the country. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. We just want to talk to Juan, Sergio. You sure you couldn't tell us where we could find him? Ari, I never heard of the man. That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're going to let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well... Until some common union types infiltrate this place. Freddy said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Let him unload the goods first. Now? Let's get him. Move. Move! Let's go! Hey, 
Everyone into position. Perimeter is up. The whole place is contained. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Go, Fel. Throw out the gun. Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Tijuana address, we should see what the Federales have on him. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. At the very minimum, another 50 pounds. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. Yeah. 
thousand dollars here. Yet another silver dollar. Phelps, Earl, looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. What are these? Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? First coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Mesanke Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever. 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. Damn maniac! I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. It's your priority, straight Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence. Uh, son of a bitch!
Damn it. Cover the back door. You win one more hand, Andy. I'm taking my money and going home. And fuck whose turn it is to my job. Throw out the gun. You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. Trying to get yourself killed? Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a is. mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. <laughs> 